All right, it's about six o'clock Wednesday morning. I've just arrived in this um, state forest to go hunting. I parked the van just here to camp the night. Um, that's because I couldn't get any further up that road. I kind of reached the top of the van's capabilities. Um, I'm just having some breakfast with some coffee and I'm gonna go hunting. Um, hopefully get a goat but I think there's deer here as well so I'm gonna have a look around and see what's about. I've just been walking probably 200 meters from a car and I found a mob of goats. There's quite a few of them. There's probably 12 or so goats in that mob. Um, one of them just saw me and then they all bolted, but literally like two or 300 meters from the car, about 20 minutes in, so it's a good sign. Hopefully I get one later today. Okay, so I've just climbed up to the top of this mountain and I'm gonna have a look around. So I'm just going to look around the forest to see if I can spot something with the binoculars. I've been waking, making my way up this mountain and I spooked a few deer just before. But now there's a few goats coming down towards me. Down the mountain, so I think I'm just going to sit behind this. Stumpy and hopefully wait for them to get closer and in range. That's another failed attempt, unfortunately. Um, they ended up just kind of working more and more up the mountain. And as I tried to follow them, I just couldn't get close enough and they're just so much quicker up there. But trying to keep quiet and um, get close enough, I just couldn't do it. So probably gonna have something to eat here and then move on. It's about another hour and a half since I saw those last two um, white goats. Just as I was coming up this mountain, I'm on the top of now see the view behind um i just basically walked straight into two which sprinted off immediately um you can see i've come a fair way so i started where was it down around there and then came here and then up here and then around here and then down this valley and now up this mountain but I'm on the top of this rock here so put in some distance but seeing quite a lot as well so I'm going to keep going see what I find it's getting a bit hotter now so I might start going down the valleys and hopefully find animals looking for a drink that's it for the day I'm back at the van the sun is setting behind me um, it was a really good day I saw heaps of game quite a few goats and then two different herds of deer which was really cool I wasn't expecting to see that um, but yeah couldn't manage to pull off a shot on anything so have another go tomorrow I'm pretty knackered I did like at least 18 k's I reckon today walking up and down the mountain so pretty exhausted just gonna have some dinner and head to bed and then wake up bright and early tomorrow okay it's the morning of day two um, slept in a bit today so it's about eight o'clock I was just knackered from yesterday, so I'm going to head up the mountain, have another crack. So I just shot a goat. Um, I was standing on this rock here, and it's just down there. I'm going to 
gonna give it 10 minutes just to make sure the shot was good and let it bleed out. But I'm pretty sure I, like, I, I'm pretty sure I dropped it just where it stood. So. Unfortunately for this part of the video, I forgot to turn the microphone on the camera on, so I lost all the audio, but I'll just narrate over it. Uh, this was towards the end of the day. I didn't seem nearly as much game this day as I had on the first day, and I also broke the release aid on my bow while I was in the mountains, so I had to walk back to the car, drive to town, buy a new one, drive back out, uh, but I still managed to get back with a little bit of time before the sunset and managed to shoot this guy. It was a nice clean shot from 25 metres straight through the front legs and through the vitals. Dropped him literally on the spot. So nice quick death. Uh, just a young billy goat but still really happy. I should mention as well that from this point on it gets pretty graphic. Uh, I wanted to show as much as possible to be as genuine in the experience as possible. But it is pretty full on. At this point I could just take the back legs off and I guess the back straps out but because I want to eat as much as the animal as possible I'm going to carry the whole carcass out. So I will gut it here just to make it a bit lighter and easier for the carry out. But hopefully I can maximise the amount of meat I'm getting off this animal. So made it back to the van, the walk wasn't too bad in the end. Um, I shot it relatively close to the car, I mean it's a decent sized forest and I could have been a lot further, so I can't complain. Um, as you can see, got it strung up now in the tree behind me. That's just so I can skin it and start butchering it pretty easily. Uh, the sun has set now and it's starting to get dark, it doesn't look like it on the camera but it definitely is. In the case that it gets dark before I'm all done, I'll get the van and kind of just pull up just here, where is he? And then shine the light back on the goat. Um, I definitely won't have time to cook the goat tonight, but tomorrow lunchtime I think I'll be doing goat kebabs. So I'm going to get cracking. The skinning it took a lot longer than I thought it would. It's properly dark now, um, but it's all good. Got it done. Unfortunately, the front shoulders I couldn't. Um, where is it? Couldn't keep them because of the damage from the arrow on both sides. It kind of went straight through them, and it was all um, meat was ruined. So couldn't keep them. But the rest, of the carcass, got here. So gonna get the back straps and the legs and. Hopefully some of the rib meat and neck meat out and then pack it all up and put it in the fridge. It's now 7 o'clock and I'm finally finished with the goat. Uh, I got a decent amount of meat off it. I couldn't get the front legs though because they were the meat was damaged from like where the arrow had gone through on both of them. So that's a shame. But the meat I did get, it's all in the fridge now, cooling down for the night. I'm getting absolutely smashed by mozzies. Um, all I gotta do now is have a shower because I stink of goat and I'm covered in goat blood. Uh, it's quite cold at the moment and I'm not looking forward to it, but it has to be done. So it's the next day. I've come to a new campsite uh, near Wollumbi Falls and I'm cooking some dinner. So I took the back straps off the animal, which is what kind of runs back behind the spine. Um, it doesn't get much use as a muscle, so it's very tender and one of the best cuts to eat. Um, I've just got it grilling on the fire here. You can 
can see. And it's just been marinating in some garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, cumin, paprika and oregano for the past few hours. A bit longer would have been better, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to grill this and then I can make up the rest of the kebab. <laughs> The goat's all cooked up now, uh, it didn't take long at all. I'm just going to let it rest for a few minutes. So I'm pretty much ready to assemble the kebab. I'm just going to give this flatbread a quick toast on the fire to breathe some life back into it and give it some more flavour. Here is the finished kebab. Uh, a lot of effort has gone into making this kebab. It was a 700k round trip driving, then over 50k's walking through the mountains, but very happy with the result. A marinated goat, a herby kind of salad with some cucumber and um, tomato and onion just dressed with olive oil and um, lemon juice, and then a simple yogurt sauce with, with uh, yogurt, cucumber, mint, paprika and a bit of cumin. So, let's see how it tastes. <laughs> it's very good. Um, the goat, super tender, being such a young animal. Um, great flavour, similar to lamb, but it's its own thing. It often gets refer um, compared to lamb, but it is a bit different and um, I like it a lot, so very happy.